You should know that all these Yelp reviews and responses are 100% real. For each of these, I'll be playing the customer, and Aziz will be playing the owner. Okay? <clears throat> Here's the first one. Name the character. <laughs> I stopped in for lunch today for the very first time. Was charged $12 for a chicken parm and a couple of spoonfuls of baked ziti and a small piece of Italian bread on a styrofoam plate along with a bottle of Snapple. The piece of chicken was modest in size. They provide the smallest plastic utensils available. I will not return. You did not receive only one piece of chicken. I've never been more certain of anything in my life. If you wanted more bread, we would have given you as much bread as you could have shoved down your throat. <laughs> it's just a deli, not the Olive Garden. Piss off, bro! <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> wow! That, Whoa! My that bad. Heated, that got heated fast. Real quick. Whoa! That's the owner saying that. All right, here we go. Let's do another one here. All right. I've never been a fan of this place. And I don't get why people like it or why my friends insist on coming here frequently. The drinks are overpriced, the service is hit or miss, the menu's very basic. I never had a good meal here despite having been here about seven times. Let me help you out, buddy. If your friends all like it, and people keep suggesting you come here, and they all seem to have a good time, and they enjoy the food, and they somehow find a way to afford the sky-high prices and brave the onslaught of hit-or-miss service, what are the odds that you have no freaking idea what you're talking about? <laughs> By the way, have you heard about our loyalty program? <laughs> <laughs> That would be good if they did sign up for that loyalty program. <laughs> All right, so we, we switched it up a little bit on this next one. This one is for a dentist office. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Dr. Goldman's chairside manner. God, it's awful. She actually made me cry with shame because of a cavity I had. At least she lets you choose a DVD to watch while she gives you a filling. The last time she recommended a DVD, I was taken aback by the many scenes that took place in a strip club. <laughs> many topless women were <laughs> prancing around. On the bright side, if you have an emergency, she can get you in ASAP because she always has openings. Okay, Laura. The movies are always picked by the patient, and we offer a variety of PG movies. Since you were over 18, we offered an R-rated one. And when you chose what you did, I told you there was nudity. And you said, not a problem. <laughs> Looks like there's holes in your story and your teeth. <laughs> I feel like any film where within the first five minutes there's topless women prancing around, <laughs> it's pretty apparent from the cover that's what you're in for. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I don't even know. Yeah, what, why would you even, uh, well, why would you choose that film? Also, if you're the dentist, just take the one with nudity out. <laughs> Wait, Who's what? like, you got anything with a little nudity, maybe a little <laughs> Diane Lane unfaithful action? <laughs> I want to see a little... Boning while I'm getting my cavity no. filled. <laughs> you can say boning. No. They're not bleeping. You don't need to bleep. You don't. If, if anyone here is a guest on a late night talk show, just so you know, boning doesn't need to be bleeped as far as I know. I don't know. I wonder know what's happening at home right now. Is that getting bleeped? Do they know what I'm saying? No, if we describe it. It's spelled B O N I N G. <laughs> <laughs> and it involves, the definition is 
taking the bone out of the steak. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's legally, I think now we can say boning. Yep. If no, you it's give when you it... take a bone, you shove it. Hey, in. Hey, whoa, no, hey. <laughs> I mean, that would be I just want to get. I just want to get my, be... my get my cavity filled. That's all. I... <laughs> I didn't. They made that joke. They, I didn't make that joke. Hey, you made it yourself. They made that joke themselves. That, we were talking about we were talking teeth. The dentist teeth. Exactly. Next right. time, we should actually get these people in here so we can find out what really happened. Yeah, I would do that. I would do that. I just want to see I, actually what happened, because they're real people. Yeah, I'd love to meet that crazy dentist. <laughs> uh, here we go. We have time for one more. This one's actually from an auto repair shop. OK? I had a horrible experience at the Radiator Wizard. <laughs> I paid this place a $65 fee to diagnose my cooling problem. They insisted upon replacing my entire cooling system to the tune of $2,000. Beware. I started this business in 1985. And from day one, I have not and will not tolerate extremely rude and disrespectful behavior in my business. When I ran you out of here for being so rude and disrespectful, you quickly found out that you were indeed not a man, but rather a little boy. <laughs> now, you hide behind a computer, playing the role of internet tough guy, and spout out your intentional lies. Should you ever develop any manhood in your lifetime, you will come to realize this truth. You can run around and lie to everyone in this world, but there is one person you cannot lie to, and that is yourself! Yours truly, the radiator was. <laughs> Dude, that is it. Up for an Emmy Award right there. Aziz, I'm sorry.